Many companies set up budgets at the start of the financial year to help plan their expenses and revenue. Setting up budgets helps you to stay in control of your cash flow and also to analyse the performance of your company. There are two budgeting methods in Sage Accounts, Standard Budgeting and Advanced. With Standard Budgets you can enter a monthly budgets against each nominal code. If you use Advanced Budgets you can enter monthly budgets against each nominal code, department and chart of accounts. One of the main differences between the Standard and Advanced Budgeting options is that with Advanced in addition to the current financial year, you can also set up budget values for a forecast year. For standard budgeting, you can enter values for the current year only. Once you've set up budgets, you can then use the various reports to compare your income and expenditure against budgets, helping you to understand and keep control of your financial position. To set your budgeting method, open the settings menu choose company preferences and click the budgeting tab. From the budgeting method drop-down list you can choose either standard or advanced. If you choose advanced you must also choose the budgeting type from the drop-down list. You can choose from nominal code, department overview and department in depth. You can also choose a default chart of accounts for the budgets and then click OK. To enter your budget values on standard budgeting, on the left click nominal codes and then double click the nominal code that you want to enter budgets against. In the budgets column you can enter a value for each month individually or if you want to enter the same value for each month simply enter the total budget at the bottom of the budgets column. When you press the tab key you'll be prompted to spread the budget evenly over each month of the financial year. In this example we'll click yes and then there's a hundred pound against each month. Don't worry though, if required you can still amend the monthly values. Simply click against the relevant month and update the amount. Once you've entered your budgets, click save. You can then close out of the record to return to the normal codes list. If you've selected advanced budgeting, you can't enter budgets within the nominal records, as this column won't be available. Instead, you go to nominal codes, and then from the toolbar at the top, click budgets. The options that are available in the budgets window depend on the budgeting method you've selected. However, they are similar for each type. In this example, we're set up for advanced budgeting by nominal code. To enter budgets, you drill down through the chart of accounts to select the nominal code that you want to enter budgets against. For example, if we expand overheads and then expand the category for heat, light and power, we can then select the nominal code that we want to enter the budgets against. When you select a nominal code, the monthly breakdown area becomes active. You can then enter budget values for both the current financial year and the forecast year. Similar to the standard budgeting option, you can enter a total budget for the financial year. Then when you press the tab key, you'll be prompted to spread this evenly over each month of the current financial year. You can still amend the monthly values though, if required. The forecast year is only available for advanced budgeting, and you can either leave the monthly balances blank or manually enter the balances for each month. Once you've entered your budgets, click Save. You can then continue to enter additional budgets or click Close to return to the nominal codes list.